here to do the three tarot cards for the week again and things are a bit wiggly it's very windy and my house is rocking so it's actually making the camera rock as well which is a bit interesting so excuse that um oh miss feeney's come back in to join in too <laughs> okay so i've pulled three cards and laid them out i'll put the picture in the video and what we've got at the start of the week is looking at responsibilities burdens <laughs> what you've got to get done so monday tuesday there seems to be quite a bit to get done and it's about looking at what you truly want do you actually want that responsibility um you need to make a decision about that you know sometimes we can be offered something which appears wonderful but then when we're there we're going well i actually don't want that it's like if you've got a job you really like and you're offered a promotion and you're thinking hmm i'm gonna have to work late hours saturdays not have much time with my family those sort of balancing judgments about whether that's worth doing so <laughs> it's also about delegating you know being able to delegate if you have got one of those jobs where you're in charge of lots of things or even running a household you know where you've got a bunch of people all living in the same house and you seem to be the one who's responsible for things um it's time to hand some of that over to other people it's not all up to you and to start delegating that means letting people make mistakes too it's how they learn but that's fine so yeah monday and tuesday are all about looking at that and what works for you it's not about shoulds or have to or must it's about how that works for you how you can maybe shift things around so that they work a bit better for you and how you can hand responsibilities back to people who've put more on your shoulders than actually belongs to you so interesting couple of days <laughs> um wednesday thursday we've got the emperor and so we've got some pretty powerful cards here the last one was the king of wands this one's the emperor and that's all about taking charge and that doesn't mean you have to take charge of everybody around you it's about taking charge of your life where you want to go with that how you're getting things done how you want to live your life it is your life um you know the certain probabilities that a reading or something like that can give you but you get the last say so it is about taking charge so wednesday thursday it's about good organizational skills also if it is indicating somebody else around you it could be somebody who's who's a bit bossy um and a little bit overbearing so you may have to deal with somebody who's trying to be more than they actually are or behave in ways that aren't very harmonious so you might need to say whoa stop <laughs> that's not it you know this isn't how we're going to work together so that can be in a relationship too you know if one person overpowers the other um it doesn't make for a good relationship they need to be equal and <clears throat> both people need to respect each other's individual opinions so yeah Wednesday, Thursday are very much about balancing power and control and being in charge and once again who needs to get stuff done and who's in charge of that. So this week seems to have quite a bit of that around it so it's an interesting one. Ultimately I mean we are responsible for ourselves but we're not responsible for everybody else's happiness and one trend I have noticed with my clients who work out in the mainstream is that people are expected to work more and more and longer and longer hours um, and it becomes almost inhuman you know it's like hang on a minute these people still have to eat and live and breathe and um, have relationships and spend time with your family and they can't just work, 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 work. And there seems to be this trend to have less staff and they all have to do more than ever before. So don't let yourself be worked to death. It's not worth it. Look after yourself and your health, especially if you're being sort of railroaded into doing more than you want to. So 
the end of the week is about making some big decisions. We've got the lovers, which yes, it can be about love and partnership and relationship. But it can also be about choices and decisions for yourself. Which way do you want to go? Which way is your life going? How can you go about creating a life that's balanced and happy and works for you? I mean, we're all different. Some people are really hyperactive and can expand huge amounts of energy and thrive on that. Other people can't. They collapse. They fall over. So it's about balancing that within yourself. So... Yeah, end of the week's about big decisions, big choices about what you really want to do. And my camera is wiggling again. And if it is indicating a relationship in your case, it's about <coughs> divvying up the jobs there too. You know, it's the weekend. It's not one person's job to do clean up after the whole week and get everything done. It's, it's both people's job to do that. So share the loads and then you can have some really nice times together because there's also an indication of a bit of ro um, romance and passion and a bit of chemistry. So you need to make some time for that next weekend <laughs> or you might miss it in amongst being so incredibly busy. So yeah, it looks like a really, really good week. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just one about getting really clear on what you want, which is interesting, um, interesting to look at that it's kind of pointing out things about us making choices and decisions about how we want to live our lives. So have a beautiful week, everyone, and lots of love, and I'll see you next time.